Hello, hello, and welcome to my review of the video game Dreadout. Um, if you're, if this is the first video of the channel, welcome, welcome. I do have a full playthrough of Dreadout on the channel if you are interested. Also, I'm going to do a movie reaction to the movie Dreadout, the live action movie. So, also, if you're interested, there is a couple, um, there is some Dreadout content, um, but yeah, we're gonna be talking about Dreadout. Very fun game. I'm I really enjoyed it. Um, sorry, uh, this is an off the cuff review, as I usually do. Not scripted, as you may tell. Just trying to get some last thoughts and feelings. So, as you might know, if you watched a playthrough, I did play through Act Zero and Act One before. Not on the channel, like many years ago. Um. And I just never got to that to you. So it was so it wasn't like a completely new experience for me, but I did really enjoy it. I am very new to horror games in general. Um I've really just started playing them through the channel. Um when I started the channel or playing them on the channel, sorry, sorry. Um I did say constantly that this was my first three D horror game that I will beat. That's a, like a full length game. Which was actually kind of a lie. <laughs> I didn't really think about it during the playthrough, but I have played through the Bioshock series, so it's not it's technically not the first um 3D horror game I've beaten, but it's like the first thing out of Bioshock that I've beaten. Um so I was very proud of myself. Um <laughs> I did get scared a lot. Probably the scariest game, I would say, on the channel. Um <laughs> There's a lot of high-pitched screaming. Like, usually at least one scream per video. Which is good. It's a horror game, man. Um, but yeah, let's talk about specifics. I think story is pretty interesting. Obviously, it's a little vague near the ending. My interpretation of it, I don't know if it's different. Obviously, there's a DLC and sequel, so I'm sure it explains it more. But I was... I'm, like, more stuck on the idea it was, like, everything pre-planned by the teacher, Miss Sistra, to be, like, this sort of, to get hold of some freaking demon baby to grant her wishes, or did she kind of get corrupted on the way, like, during that whole experience? That's the only question I have, um, but no, it, it was a very fun, um, very fun story. I really enjoyed it. The Ghostopedia, learning about these Indonesian folk tale ghosts. Um, I I've always thought that Southeast Asian ghost story they have very good folk tales. I'm actually part Filipino, though I, I don't really know a lot about Filipino culture to be honest. But I like it. I I'll be honest. I'm very up on Indonesian horror this year because I've watched a lot of Indonesian horror movies, and they're really. <laughs> They're really good. A, a lot of them are. Like, a lot of the mo They have a lot of modern bangers. I think they are definitely ahead. At least in the horror scene. To a lot of Southeast Asian countries. So, I did enjoy learning about them. Aiden, do you still remember... Uh, do you still remember... The the ghosts? Yeah, my boys, the Pochans. A.K.A. the Pine Tone Boys. Um, love to see them. The Kutalanak. The Yan Gawardos, the goblins that start with a T. <laughs> I, I remember, I remember. Um, yeah. But yeah, anyways. The story is pretty, pretty simple. Simple story. Simple but effective, you know. It's not, you're not, you are following the plot, but it's more the environment, the atmosphere, the ghosts that carry the story than the actual script of the game, I would say. Um, you know, it has some, obviously it's supernatural, but it has some mystical elements with Linda's powers, which is definitely a Southeast Asian thing. Um, so yeah, good, good story. Gameplay was very fun. Um, obviously it's based on, or heavily inspired by Fatal Frame. I played a little bit of Fatal Frame as a kid. I think I rented it out, um. But yeah, I really did the gameplay. I think it's a fun way to fight monsters. I feel like a lot of horror games nowadays, you can either go guns blazing against monsters or you just can't fight them at all. I think this is a nice, 
a nice workaround, you know? I guess it is kind of like going guns blazing, because when I watched a lot of other people's playthroughs after I finished, they were literally just rapid fire the camera. Yeah, I, I, I think I was a little more patient. Um, I kind of wish maybe in terms of fighting enemies, it could be a little cleaner at some points. Like I thought some of the Act 2 bosses felt very, very awkward to fight, especially the last, like when you're doing the whole showdown against uh, the final boss in her many forms. Um, there's a couple of stages that I was kind of groaning at. Um, again, maybe it's part me being not very good at video games. Um, but I do think some of the, at least again, it's in my review, it's my opinion. Some of the fights were not so much uh, fun for me. <laughs> but I will say probably the majority of the fights I enjoyed. Um, I did skip a fight too, the floating head things. I, th I literally thought they were invincible because they taint so many shots, so I just ran away from them. <laughs> um, I guess since we're talking about fights, you should probably name your favorite, favorite fights. Um... What is my favorite fight? I like fighting the pochon, the big pochon in Act 2. That whole sequence doing the puzzles on the heavenly place was very fun for me. Um, a lot of the Act 1 bosses I thought were very clean. Scissor Person, we did it on our first try. Obviously, I had some experience before, but that was very... um. That felt very good because I remember being super frustrated fighting him. Um, we did, sorry, I'm thinking, my least favorite I think was like when you're in the dark and the giant ghost thing that shoots maggots at you, I hated that, I kind of also didn't like, um, the one where you have to take pictures of the ghost face that pops up on the, on the, on top of the doors, I think that came like right after. That, that stuff was annoying for me, but again, overall, I think the gameplay experience was pretty good. I was more taken into the atmosphere. Um, I really liked Act 2's atmosphere when you were out of the school, just because, like, yes, the school is very creepy, but maybe it's because I've experienced it in the past, but when you're traveling through the village in Act 2, it's very, very spooky to me. You can't just, you just can't help um, looking around. Also. I just remembered. Favorite ghost has to be Pochond on a motorcycle. It's such a funny ghost, and it's something I didn't see in my first playthrough. Um, so, <laughs> it's such a meme ghost with such a weird bat story. Like, you'd expect the ghost to be like, um, you know, died on a motorcycle, so he's roaming the streets, but he died because he had a heart attack after he learned he won a motorcycle. <laughs> it's so silly, but in a, in a very charming way. Um, art style, I played on lower settings because I'm on a potato, <laughs> but I, I like the art style. I like the character's designs a lot. Obviously, the monsters, they, some look silly, some look kind of scary, um, but overall good. Um, favorite design of a monster? It's kind of hard to say. I think Second Sister was very creepy to me. I also think, um, the, I forgot his name. I think it started with an M. The ghost that steals babies. That like does that weird jump scare where a baby comes out of her mouth near the end. I thought she was pretty creepy too. Like a creepier version of the Kutelanak. Um But yeah, those were good. I like the designs of the characters too. I thought the female characters looked a lot better than, than the males. Like Donnie and Yang Yang were kind of a meme. Um in terms of design compared to the girls. I thought the girls looked very good. Linda looks good. Ira was probably my favorite designed character, both in a normal and ghost form. Um, I just loved her look, surprisingly. Like when I first played and going into it, I thought I was gonna be more of a Linda guy, but Ira has some charm, eh? Even Shelly and Sister looked good. So good design. Again, I played in low graphics, so it looks a little more stuff than it probably could look. Um, I guess I should say another, maybe a little bit of a negative to the game was there was definitely some buds, um, 
obviously the biggest instance if you haven't watched uh, my playthrough of the game. There was a bug that actually broke my game and made me had to delete my save, save, slot, save slot and start over, um, which was like right in act two. Like it's this weird bug where everything was really well lit at night and nothing would load. Then I kind of got trapped in a in a in in a loading screen or whatever. So it really sucked and I had to start the game over again. Luckily though, when you start at that too, they actually save all the collectibles. So um, it turned out to be good because I, I actually missed a collectible, but it's it's a very annoying glitch. If a glitch like ruins your save slot then it is very annoying and the thing is you know not to raid on it too more but it's not even like just a one-time thing like when i googled it people actually experienced this glitch so it just never got patched obviously they're you know they did dread out too they're doing other stuff so it's not like they have other priorities i should say um but but, 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 I think it, it, it is a very vid glitch, I should say. Um, and there's a couple smaller glitches throughout the game. A little glitchy, you know, it happens. Um, but, you know, gotta, gotta tick that off, I guess, as a little negative. Soundtrack, I like the soundtrack. If you're, you're probably wondering, Aiden, why aren't you playing the soundtrack to the game? It's just when I searched it up, they were all vocal soundtracks. So in my mind, I think... When soundtracks played and they weren't photos, they were just instrumentals of the vocal soundtracks, which I was kind of too lazy to look up. Um, but like thinking back to it, it was it was a very quiet game in terms of in terms of music. Like the most musical mem moments that I remember, besides the opening song and the ending song, was like this sort of drum beat with the pochons came or something like that. Um, so in terms of a soundtrack, I would say it's not the most memorable, but I do love... I, I am a fan of vocal soundtracks. Um, I do love the opening song, going from Act Zero, the prologue, to Act One, changing the tone completely with the the mocha song. It, it is a really good song, probably my favorite song of the game. Um, the other songs were good too. That they are good at implementing focus on huh? Um, trying to think if there's anything else too important. I think in terms of how well I went through the game, like how how well I piloted. You know, was there any hiccups? There definitely was hiccups, both on gameplay with some frustrating bosses and buds. But overall, you know, a pretty smooth, I, I shouldn't say smooth, pleasant ride. You know, I, I, it sounds kind of negative, but if you actually watch the game, the playthrough, I, I was happy the majority of the time, you know, just when you're thinking about everything, you tend to point out the negatives a bit more. Um, but no, overall good. Favorite moment? I guess I should... What's my favorite moment of Dreadouts? Oh, it has to be the Ira scene. I was like, what, what could it be? Then I was like, oh, no. This, the Ira scene where you're talking to possess Ira was so good. You know, when she does... Like, she did a lot of over-exaggerated hand moments. Whenever you think about that, like, IRL, it's so cringe. But, like... It looked so good <laughs> in the video game. I was like, oh man, it's so cute. But when you imagine it IRL, it's like, oh, it's not cute. <laughs> but no, that scene was great. I did. Yes, I know there's very a lot of iterations of um of the scene. Which I did see um post playthrough. Um but they did a very good job at this scene. I, I adore it. But yeah, overall, I think it was a pretty good experience. Um, I had a fun time with the gameplay. And I hope... I, I do plan on playing the other games. I, I actually own... I don't own two, but I do own the DLC. So that's like definitely an option <laughs> since I since I already own it, right? Um, I do hope going forward the studio 
you know, they're both the DLC and two is less buggy. Um, just because I think that's, you know, just me being frustrated at some of the bosses in the game is definitely like could be more of just a me thing. But I do think the buds are an everything thing, so everybody thing. So hopefully it's a bit smoother in the bud department. But overall, good time, good time. Glad I chose to play it. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you have any more comments about Dreadout that I didn't cover in the review, feel free to ask them. I'm more than willing to um more than willing to answer them. And thank you for taking your time to watch this video. I appreciate it a lot. And um yeah, hopefully I'll see you in another video. Maybe you'll find something else you like. We do have a nice catalog of horror games on the channel. But until then, thanks for watching. See you.